Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to remove blo bloated applications from your phone. This will work on all Android phones that aren't rooted but have ADB enabled. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Uh, the music you are listening to is by Hyper Potions. Check out their channel, they're really good. I'm going to link both songs in the description. <clears throat> it's copyright free. So, if I search with your... There we are. Start. Okay, so... In a sec, you're going to see my phone pop up. There we go. That's my phone. So if I close that and close that, this is my phone and everything. Basically, all you need to do is, before continuing with this tutorial, you need to go into system settings. I have a OnePlus device, by the way. Go into developer options. If you don't have developer options enabled already, you want to go into, I believe it is about device. And on this device, you need to keep hitting, which one is it again? Build number until it says you're a developer. As I have developer account enabled, I can go to system settings, developer options, developer options, sorry. And then you scroll down until you see USB debugging. You enable USB debugging so that you can do AD, ADB the commands. I'm on Linux and all I had to do was just install ADB. So if I open a terminal, ADB devices. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Locate ADB. You know what? I'm just going to quickly ADB. Hmm. Let me install ADB very quickly. Android debug bridge. So all you have to do is search up ADB, find this, and then scroll down. You keep scrolling down. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. ADB Linux. Should have just searched that, isn't it? Install ADB, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. That's fine. Done. That's for Windows. That's for Mac. This is for Linux. Okay, save to my downloads folder. Into compressed. And save it there. Cool. Then I just need to extract it. PD into downloads. Then compressed ls and then unzip platform tools ls cd info platform tools ls there we are cd into adb adb ah adb devices no Connect your device cable, change the connection mode to file transport mode and such a Ah. There we go. On Windows, it's a lot easier. You can just type in ADB. So, now, why am I going to teach you this at all? So, let me just move this to. What's on one? Nothing. Let me move the browser to one. Basically, 
On my phone specifically, I have some applications that I don't want on here. For instance, YouTube. I currently use Newpipe, which is just a free open source version of YouTube, right? So it doesn't have any tracking, telemetry, anything like that. So I want to remove YouTube, but even if I do full stop, the disable button is still disabled. I'm not able to actually click disable to get rid of the application from my launcher. So what I'm going to do is the next best thing. I'm going to remove the application from my phone. Now, the best way to do this and the easiest way to do this is to find an application that tells you about applications on your phone. So app info. Package manager. So this is just a random free open source application that I found. You'll probably find one that's similar in the Play Store. All I'm looking for is a name similar to this, right? For the application that I want to remove. So I'm just going to click launch. I'm going to click start. Now it's just checked all of the applications on my phone. If I go to user and then I just scroll down, I search for YouTube. Not there. System. Ah, here we are. YouTube music is disabled, but YouTube is enabled. So all I need to do, click uninstall. You select to uninstall, which is a system application. Unfortunately, the Android ecosystem doesn't allow that by user applications. Don't worry, the package manager will guide you through this application using the ADB method. If you already have the following working ADB, executed the following commands from an ADB shell, we'll uninstall this application. In order to configure a working ADB environment, please check out the link, the documentation page. So literally, that's all I need to do. I want to remove this application. I do ADB dot slash ADB because it's Linux shell PM uninstall dash K dash dash user zero com dot google dot android dot youtube cool now it says success if i go back to my home screen youtube is gone and it's as simple as that if i go into settings and then applications and then i go into where is it app management if I scroll down you should see YouTube somewhere along here but it's not there only YouTube is music is left as I don't use YouTube music I might as well remove it as well so just to show you that it does work with other applications I'm just going to go back click on YouTube music click on install all I have to do is just type in this command plus slash adb shell pm uninstall a dash dash user is zero called dot google dot android dot apps dot youtube dot music okay success click got it go back go back if i search youtube again it's now gone so if i go back into here can't even show the settings for it if I go into settings I go into apps app management just let it load and I scroll all the way down YouTube and YouTube music is now gone this will work for any application on your device obviously some applications you maybe want to keep on your phone say for example Google Play Store if you have applications which rely on Google Play services, you may want to keep the Google Play Store. But alternatively, if you have something like MicroG, which is just a Google a lightweight Google Play Store alternative, then all you'd need is like Aurora Store just to download applications or something, or the raw APK file to install on your phone. And then the MicroG layer on your device that you've installed would allow you to use Google Play services. That is common in Calyx OS and Calyx OS derivatives such as linear not linear OS is not a derivative but linear OS and Calyx OS do have micro G capabilities so you don't have to use the Google Play Store I'm currently on Oxygen OS which is basically color OS so I have to do this but 
on your device you may be able to just disable the application it's just on my device specifically i have to uninstall the application through adb as i'm not able to disable it if i did want to disable it though i could go into that application where is it again package manager i believe if i were to go into google assistant because i have two where is it google assistant if I were to go into app info, not able to disable it, but I'm assuming that some applications will allow you to just disable them. If I did want to disable applications using this application, I'm assuming I would have to have root access, but doing it through the shell is okay. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any ideas for what else I should post on the YouTube channel or other content that I should make, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.